Ada Christensen in this 90-second timeout. And the Danes, of course, will be bitterly disappointed with that. 12-5 up, Anthony. He should have perhaps pressed home at that stage. I think quite definitely. Couldn't really see much of a change in the style of play from Sunjun. Just seemed to really get the shuttle into play, eradicate the mistakes, and just up the tempo a little. Tried to rush Peter Gator a little bit with his shots, and that seemed to disturb the rhythm of the Danish world-ranked number one player. Just missed with a few smashes and lost the confidence with which he's been buzzing with all week. So it's essential for the Danes that he gets that back at the start of this second game. That opening game to Sun Jun, 15-13 in 29 minutes. So very hard fought opening game. And I suspect that the tempo is going to remain pretty high. Two great athletes here in Sun Jun and Peter Gader Christensen. Oh, he's missed it. My goodness, that was an opportunity for the Dane. It shows how much of badminton's all about confidence. That was an exquisite net shot. Look how much height Peter Gaeta gave it in order to relinquish the weak lift. Sun Jun had gone deep in the court, but Peter Gaeta had to go for the line. Sunjun changing his mind, I feel sure, on that net shot. Bit of a desperation stroke from Sunjun. He was under so much pressure, tried to go for the outrageous deceptive shot, tried to make it look like it was going to be a big lift, a huge swing of the racket, but lost control of the net shots. It's amazing to me, Anthony, when you and I have been privileged to watch Peter Gader all week. He's been absolutely sensational in his form. And how suddenly that confidence can be cracked. The umpire, Dirk Kellerman of Germany, just holding up play for a moment. These electronic scoreboards at the side of the court momentarily going out. That'll give Peter Gader a little bit of his confidence back. A good, accurate smash. And followed it in with the backhand. Didn't hit it as crisply as he liked. I think Peter Gader might just be getting a little bit frustrated with the fact that Sun Jun started to pick up one or two of those winning strokes that he was hitting in the opening game. Therefore, he started to try and cut down his margin of error, going for lines, going for the top of the tape. He's just making a couple of errors. And another error there with the punch clear. Of course, coming into this match, this Sudermann Cup final, Denmark would have assumed that Peter Gader's match was one of their bankers. They were expecting 
Peter Gaither to win. It's a huge amount of pressure for the young man. It certainly is, especially the previous rubbers we've had in this tie so far. You'd expect China to take the first one, Denmark came back, and then I think the Danes may have thought Camilla, that was probably one they expected to win. So it really is turning out to be a fantastic matchup, and the pressure on Peter Gaither really is immense now. It certainly is a game, and four love down Peter Gaida. Good backhand kill from Sun Jun. Not the easiest stroke in the world to play, your backs to the net. Well, after so much tension in that last match the ladies singles with Camilla Martin having two match points to put temp Denmark into a two love lead but couldn't convert so here we are one all in the Sudaman Cup final and the crowd a little bit subdued now that their banker is a game down this is where the crowd can really start to play their part they've got to try and lift the players when they're down it's easy to cheer them when they're winning Sunjun did that early on in the opening game, just lifting flat off the low surf to Peter Gator's forehand. That really is an easy kill for the Dane. Yes, yeah, nicely done. All he had to do was steer it down into the open space, and that's precisely what he did. Did well, because I seemingly slightly off balance when he got back to that shot. So elected to take the power out of the stroke in order to opt for accuracy. It's on the line. That time Sunjun gave it more height, but the result was the same. An accurate smash from Peter Gader. Oh, I don't believe it. Brilliant. Fantastic reactions from Sunjun. Just swung the racket behind his back. Managed to drill it so that it caught the top of the tape. Elected to play the first one on the forehand side that I thought was drifting wide. And then left the one on the backhand side as it clearly went wide of the court. It seems to me, Anthony, as if the net play is becoming the crucial aspect of this match. I think both men would like to get the opportunity to hit the big smashes down. And the easiest route to do that is to try and win control of the net area to get the weak lifts from there. clearly see that Peter Gader is trying to hit those shots as outright winners. What I think the Danish coaching staff would like to see him do is still play the aggressive downward shot, but be prepared for it to come back, because if he can place it from that sort of length, he's bound to get a weaker reply that he can keep working on Sun Jun. It's difficult though, Anthony, because normally Peter Gader would be hitting winners off that. It's just that he's clipping the net and he's making the error. Oh, that's brilliant. Just Look at that. Beautiful stroke. Takes it so early and almost just strokes it into the place of the court that he wants to. Just 
overdoing the deception. Sunjun. See, he's in a lovely position to take it, but elects to go for the deceptive stroke, let the shuttle drop, and that made the stroke more difficult. Perfect. Right in the corner. A lovely controlled clear, played with pinpoint accuracy. It was a bonus for Peter Gaylor that it was an outright winner. If it wasn't, it still would have drawn Sunjum right into the back corner of the court. time the angled smash was the outright winner and he's leveled the score in the second game my goodness that's good judgment from Sun Jun but a poor error from the Dane Perhaps just slightly relaxing as he got the scores level. Both men thinking this could be a crucial stage of the match where it is important to get their score moving first has uh, landed in some Jun doesn't like the call hands on hips There was a couple of calls earlier on, Anthony, that you thought were very close indeed, but they've been going both ways, haven't they? Couple for Denmark, couple for China. Quite definitely evens itself out. Just the player always thinks it's against them. And that was an opportunity perhaps for Peter Gaylor to have exploited that. Sunjin was bound to be thinking about that call. It was on his mind and Peter came up with an error. And that gave Peter, it gave Sun Jun an easy entry back into the game. Fast, flat rally. And that presumably will suit the shorter man. Normally you would say that. With Peter Gader's doubles expertise, he may well just balance out the fact that Sun Jun is of slightly smaller stature. Every time that Sun Jun is getting to the net as early as this. Spinning the net shot, that was the lift. Did well to get himself out of trouble. That is brilliant. You could see Peter Gader when he played the lift out from the net that he was almost standing on the front service line. Sunjum must have taken a little look at Peter Gader then, which is so difficult to do. You often just watch the shuttle. You're not aware of where your opponent is in the court. And a valuable lesson there from Sunjun to always keep your eye on your opponent. Nine six. Brilliant. Had to be very sharp. 
Sundrum's net shot was coming back and was going to be close to the tape if he'd let it fall. Perfect execution of the kill. Kept the racket side to the net and a short, crisp stroke. That's wide. Now in the early stages of the, this match, he wasn't missing any of those. One thing that Sunjun has done occasionally, and one of the, that was a case, was he's not lifting to the corners. He's not giving Peter Gator the angle with which to work on with those smashes. You just see the, the kill from Peter Gator. That's amazing net play. No wonder Sun Jun is delighted with that. Sensational. Most players would have just liked to have got this net shot back without even attempting the deception that Sun Jun imparted on it. Well, the situation beginning to look rather dark as far as Denmark is concerned. Sundin really has risen his game today. And then, as he gets into a commanding position, just switches off fractionally, gives the Dane a chance. just going for too much deception if he would just take the shuttle early rather than letting it drop and going for a deceptive shot it's almost as if Peter Gade is thinking I've got to do something special to win the rally he hasn't he's a special player in his own right by working the opening getting something fractionally short he's gonna put it away anyway certainly is a special player in his own right world number one that really highlights the problem you can see how low Peter Gator took that. If he was to accelerate towards the shuttle, he probably could have taken that about the level of his ribs. And that would have meant less time that Sunjun had to then play the next stroke. So 11-6 in this second game, having taken the first. And the Chinese player creeping ever closer to his target. Took that one nice and early, the push from the front of the court. more controlled smash from Peter Gader didn't have the zip of a full-on power smash you can see with that lifts landing from Sun Jun though gave Peter Gader slightly more of an angle with which to attack the Chinese player and that was a net shot without attempting any deception just took it early got it into play Well, you can't play a tighter net shot than that. Sun Jun's net shot hitting the top of the tape, just going over. That's wonderful angle. The previous time Gator smashed, he went with the cross court. This time, it's gone straight down the line. Sun Jun initially pushed off to go to the backhand side and couldn't adjust. Far too many errors coming from the Gator racket. I think when you said earlier, Anthony, the Dane is probably feeling he's got to do something extra special. 
that's probably the correct analysis. Well, that's a wonderful return. Made it look like it was going to be a net shot to Sunjun. Just flicked it deep into the corner of the court. Well, it's been called out. Must have been desperately close. Easy opportunity there for Sun Jun. Again, the net shot off the low serve, paying dividends for the Chinese player. Service fault is called. Mr. Yamada of Japan, the service judge, saying that Sun Jun had struck the shuttle above the waist. Just the sheer presence of Sun Jun at the front of the court, forcing Gaida to take on that tight net shot. Sun Jun was poised. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. We haven't seen too many in this match of those from Gaida. It's a shot he plays so well. can hardly fault Sun Jun's net play in this match. Such quality from Sun Jun. Gets himself so close to the net. Look where he takes that shuttle. That does make the task easier, but still an exquisite net shot. Tremendous. The slice, fast drop. Well, again, Gaida playing that cross-court net shot from the backhand side. And again, it produces an error. He's just waiting for Sunjun to commit to moving to the forehand and just steers it cross-court. Yes, lovely. And the crowd here in Copenhagen, beginning to come alive again. Did well to control this smash, so accurately down the line with all his weight travelling out towards that side of the court. And then serves short. We sometimes see the service errors in doubles. And of course the shuttle has to almost skim the net, those short serves. It's almost the pressure that Sun Jun's been putting on Peter Gader's low serve with his tight spinning net shots. That you've almost got to expect the quality of a doubles low serve to prevent the young Chinese player from doing that. Just rubbing his hand on the side of the court. Quite often there's a little bit of dust by the side of the court and that will just absorb any moisture on the palm of his hand so he gets a better grip on the handle.
Oh, that's landed in. It's desperation time for Sunjin anyway. Clearly on the line, pinpoint accuracy. Great smash. Peter Gator moving back so much better, so much quicker. Yes, from six, 12 down, five points to 11, 12. That's wrong. It's all level. A slight neck cord's going to help the Dane. Just ensures that Sunjun mistimes his lift. Anthony, I thought it was interesting as Peter Gaida watched the lift go out of the back of the court. He turned to the crowd and almost urging the crowd on to cheer for him. That's a great push from Sunjun, landing on the back line. A rarity, a bad net shot from Peter Gaida. Gave Sunjun that easy opportunity to just push it flat into the forehand corner. Brilliant. What a shot. It's not often you see Sun Jun left absolutely standing. Sun Jun totally committed to going for the net shot, wanted to try to get a quick point. The shuttle hitting the rafters overhead. And of course, is a fault. And so, for the first time in this second game, Peter Gaida goes into the lead. And Sunjun unleashes a power smash. We haven't seen many of those today. Peter Gaida's done so well, he's prevented Sunjun from scoring by pressurizing his serve with the quality of his returns. Well, perhaps just trying to force the pace a little too much, but ain't. incredible. Sun Jun hasn't added to his score in 11 minutes. And 12-6 up. It's missed it. But what an extraordinary start to the rally, Anthony. Sun Jun standing so wide of that centre line to hit the flick serve. Just moved across, tried to give Peter Gaida something different to think about. I thought he might have gone for the drive serve up the middle to try and catch Peter Gaida out, but just did a more conventional flick serve. And again, he's moved wide, just to see if he can take the Dane's mind off the job. Well, not working on that occasion for Sun Jun.
Peter Gaeta equal to the change in tactics. Thirteen all. Just a little bit over eager. The gap was there. He's been hitting those shots so well. Yes, earlier in the week. I don't remember seeing Peter Gaeta making any more than half a dozen unforced errors throughout an entire match. What a smash. And Sun Jun of China now on match point. Yes, he's done it. What a performance. Congratulated by Li Yongbo, head coach to the Chinese team. Sun Jun of China, 15-13, 15-13. And now China 2-1 up in the overall tie, this Sudaman Cup final. Both the doubles to come, the men's doubles next of course, and finally the ladies doubles. But that win by Sun Jun could prove decisive.